Hello, dear heart dwellers. This is a journal entry, a conversation, a one-way conversation to Jesus, as I was pondering one day about the new grounds, and also sharing with him a little bit of about our relationship. Hope you enjoy it and be blessed by it. This year, Lord, by far is the one with the most changes. The previous years had one big changeable blessing that would impact the whole year, but this one has more. It began in Portugal, this year of 2021. Then we were introduced to Heart Dwellers Ghana a few months later. Joining the Heart Dwellers, you confirmed the dream as of being with Mary Elisha and brought me into the boat. For two months we held with this ministry. It was such a change. Then, for the next two months, we moved for a trip in Moldova, staying there for the summer. But soon after, you moved me into another trip, this time on my own, passing through Romania, Turkey. We arrived in America itself, being there in Taos for three months, moving from mountain to the house in Taos. By far, many changes have happened. But then again, you suddenly moved me to Medjugorje, having to pass through Albuquerque, Istanbul, Zagreb, arriving in Medjugorje by bus. All these transitions in one year, and the year, a year that did not yet end. I had been staying in Portugal for 13 years, maybe. One got used to that place. Our house in Moldova is a homeland, a given place. So one was used to that place too when we went there. All was familiar ground. Arriving to those airports and into the land of America was new and unknown ground for sure, having never been there before. But they also became familiar grounds to me now. Having walked there, some places become normal to me. At some point, being in the house at the house, I got used to that house and it became familiar ground to me during those three months. The transition from the first room to the other showed my attachment, <laughs> an attachment to a place. But when you moved me to Medjugorje, this place was new ground, unknown ground, though familiar to our eastern methods of living. For the first four days that I have been there, the town, the view outside the window, the area slowly became familiar and normal a bit. In all these transitions, Lord, in all of these movings, I felt a sense of detachment over the location I am placed. The unknown eventually become known. Whatever ground we step, it's still earth. Whatever people or language we meet, they are still humans with red blood inside their veins, just like me. Whatever culture, whatever race, they are still souls who came from your heart, just like me. So what is there to be afraid of? Not to mention your presence accompanying me everywhere. These grounds are very familiar grounds to you. You know them well. You've stepped here before, on a daily basis, actually. So it made me feel that no matter where I am moved, this is still ground, slash earth, with brothers and sisters that were born from the same heart. Even though we speak different languages, that's all to it. Not to mention also, I recalled during those days how this seems a beginning of a fulfillment of a wish I have had since long now. To travel and spread a smile on someone's face in some culture. Truly, Lord, as you said, and they just keep coming. Surely they do. Thank you. And being alone with you in Medjugorje, literally into the unknown, I sensed how it drew me closer to you, step by step, having you near me on a pillow at night, your presence ever near me and so close, so real. It really drew me closer to you during this trip in Medjugorje. I adventure myself to tuckle near you as a little child, head to head, or to put you on my chest and to embrace you, taking you with me everywhere I go. I didn't do that before. Not so often. 
Seems that this relationship of ours has had some soft changes also. <laughs> Where you do become the first lover of my soul deeper and my first recourse. Whereas if I were to be around my superior, I would have put all my focus on going to her about everything. Your presence, I mean, would be as in the second background of my mind. But in Medjugorje, us alone, you become first in everything. Almost. <laughs> Unless I fall and slip up. I literally had no one else there but you and Mother Mary. <laughs> Which is beautiful. You, her and my guardian angels and the saints. Physically I might have been alone. But spiritually I was never alone. So in all of this change that we have had until now, with all of the transitions and the trips, all the change of location, I have learned to be detached. I have learned to enjoy the new ground. Even though it's scary at first, eventually when you are in that land, it becomes such a blessing. The unknown is always scary, but once you step upon it, faithfully obeying the Lord, doing it anyway, you look back and you marvel, thanking the Lord that you have made this step. So my dear family, if the Lord is calling you to new ground, new territory, even if it's not exactly a whole continent, a whole country, even if he is calling you just to a new territory in your job, in a new city, in your country, or if he is making some changes within your family or, or who knows, if he is bringing you new land, new ground, unknown ground, an experienced ground. Go for it. There's a whole new adventure waiting for you, a whole new blessing, a whole new fish to fish on, <laughs> as you become fishers of men. That land will be a blessing, if only you will obey him and do it anyway, especially when you feel most afraid to do it. May the Lord bless you with courage. And may we all be blessed with more and more obedience toward the Lord, <laughs> especially when it is difficult to step. Just to remember that everything is by His might, by His Spirit, by His grace. When we are the weakest, He can be the strongest, if only we allow Him. <laughs>